Hi, in this video, we're going to go over a complete classroom demo of how to teach from these classrooms using Zoom and the dual monitor displays. So let's start by signing into Zoom. So I've already signed into the Podium computer, and you'll see on the desktop there is a link to Zoom. So let me double click that. So this is the first sign in. So we'll click the sign in button. And then we will click sign in with Google. Make sure to click sign in with Google and not to actually type in your Jessup credentials. We want to click sign in with Google. We'll go ahead and choose Google Chrome as our browser. Now we enter our Jessup credentials. Okay, so we've signed in. It presents us with a link that says Open Zoom Meetings. Go ahead and click that. And now we have signed into the Zoom desktop app. You only need to do this sign in process once or if you sign out. So once we shut down here for the day or after your class, the next time you sign in, you'll just need to double click on the Zoom link and you should already be signed in. If for some reason something happens and you're not, you would just go through the same sign in process again. It is important to remember to always be, make sure that you're signed into Zoom before you start your Zoom lecture, before you click on that link that you find in Moodle. So you always wanna double click on the desktop uh, shortcut, see that the Zoom application opens on the desktop, and then you can click on your Moodle link to start your lecture. Okay, now that we are signed into Zoom, uh, since this is the initial sign-in, let's go through a couple of initial settings that we want to uh, set up. So in particular, we wanna make sure that we are using our dual monitor setup. So I'm going to click the settings key, and I want to click use dual monitors. It's this little toggle right here in the general settings, all right? The, uh, it automatically chooses to enter full screen automatically when starting or joining a meeting. You can turn that on or off. I prefer a windowed view myself so that it's easier to move the screens around. So I'm going to unselect that. All right, those are all the settings I'm going to change for now. So now we should be ready to begin a Zoom meeting. Let's go ahead and test these settings by creating a new meeting. So I will click on the new meeting key and that will open up my Zoom meeting. Notice it opens up two windows. You have your primary, uh, primary window and your secondary window. By default, your primary window for Zoom will show the gallery view when you have multiple participants, and your secondary window will show active speaker view. So that's whoever is currently speaking. If you're not making use of one of these windows, it's perfectly fine to just minimize that secondary window and just pay attention to the primary window. If you want to go back to it, you can find both windows down in the taskbar. You just click it and reopen the window and you have it back again. So let's start with doing an audio and video check. So we are going to join with computer audio. By computer audio, it means the drop down mic located on the ceiling. And so we can check that here. It should say speakers USB audio codec. So that's what we want. Additionally, for your output speakers, where it says select a speaker, you have several different options and this may change depending on the room. So you may have to go into the room that you're assigned to teach in and experiment to determine which of these options corresponds to the front mounted speakers. In this case, I'm actually going to choose the HDMI splitter option because we're having some trouble with the speakers in this particular room at the moment. So once we have that, and we've also verified that the camera's working, 
uh, although the, the image is flipped right now, and IT will take care of that. But we do verify that the camera image is working. We can see that it's displaying from the center, uh, centrally mounted camera. For the next portion of the demonstration, I want to show you how to uh, join a meeting and make use of the dual monitors to have your gallery view on one of the monitors while sharing the screen of the secondary monitor so that you can be using that screen for your presentation uh, or whatever you're trying to show the class at large. So you can see that I've created a meeting here and I've created a couple of fake participants to join us. We have in the primary zoom window, we have our gallery view with my camera and the two participants shown. In the secondary window, we have what would be the active speaker, or if nobody's speaking, in this case, it's just the first participant that would be shown. So if you were lecturing, then possibly you might have a PowerPoint that you wanted to display to all your participants. So let me open up a PowerPoint. And so I want to display this. Now in this case, the screen that will be mirrored via the projector is going to be this screen. So this is the screen where I want my PowerPoint. This screen is where I want to move my gallery view. So I'm going to take the gallery view, I'm just going to move it over here, and I will maximize it so we have all the participants as large as they can be. I will open up the PowerPoint again and I can begin my PowerPoint presentation. Now you'll notice that because of how PowerPoint works when it detects a dual monitor setup, it goes into presentation mode with notes. So in this case, it has placed the notes on the uh, screen that is mirrored to the projector and my presentation is actually on top of my gallery view, which is what I do not want. So there is a setting up in the top left where it says display settings in the PowerPoint, and then there's a button that says swap presenter view and slideshow. So I'm going to click that. And now we're set up. Now this is the presentation that's being shown on the projector. And over here, if you don't need the notes, then you can minimize this. And I have my full gallery view. So I have my presentation. I have my gallery view with all my participants, and I can even tilt this monitor more towards the projector, and now I can move up to the projector and interact with my presentation while also still having a clear view of all my participants. So in this video, we've talked through how to initially sign into Zoom, how to check the settings to make sure that your uh, mic and your speakers are set correctly, how to check and make sure that the video output is working from the centrally located camera. We've talked about how to organize the dual zoom windows after selecting that option in the zoom settings so that you can make sure that when you're doing a share screen that the zoom the gallery view is on the screen that is not being shared and whatever presentation or content you want to share is on the screen that is being shared. So one thing to keep in mind is that if you have any issues during your classroom presentation you can always call help desk from the podium mounted phone there's a one-click button there for calling help desk if you need help. There are also Zoom videos that go through a lot of Zoom tutorials and some of these options that you can find on the faculty one-stop, as well as this video, which you're watching right now.